Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It doesn't hit that. Then it's going to be hard to finish those targets off, even with the curtain call here from Utapon, because this cop doesn't have a consistent damage dealer in its top or middle lanes. They don't have a mage that's going to be able to do long term damage. The way it is, surely also going to JJ. Don't know if you can walk up, Steel. Yeah, that's a face check. Level four to level five is over the wall goes Scout. They're looking for first blood, and they should be able to find it. This JJ is going to go down as well. Immediately, Aria pops him, and that's a one for one. Now, even Basically, waste time trying to get an objective that they're not even getting. Now, EDG, further building that lead. Well, that's an ulti to come through from Viper here, as Gang needs to be careful. Doesn't have level six yet. It's a decent headbutt, but I have a feeling Mako should be able to catch up. But no, Viper is going to pick it up with a blast going all too easy. Court clearing to further the small advantage. And EDG, they're playing with no egos. They're not playing to prove anything. They're only playing to win. Very diligent from the opening minutes of this game to always Five have seconds. a track as. Heavy. I don't know. Can't do that's, that's all the plates. As well. All yeah. of them. His Mako heads up. Not going to face check that brush. For good reason, is Aria. Heads on forward, but he immediately gets ulted and explodes. This is why the LeBlanc has a tough time in this matchup. But the fight is still ongoing. It's a decent heroic charge there from Evie, but he's still going to fall down. Mako, in fact, is the one that picks up the kill. And EDG, a couple more. Team, every time you try to, or every time it looks like they might make a mistake, they might walk too close, you could turn it. Well, there's a headbutt pulverized, but the tower is going to fall down. The Unbreakable will on Gang will keep him alive. And now we're looking at a double Drake lead here. We are, again, five kills in, 6,000 gold, EDG ahead. Three turrets, and it's just... <laughs> Just piece by piece, step by step, but they're starting to get a massive lead now. And there you also see the problem, then it's straight up 5v5, especially if you lose one of your most potent damage dealers. You're just not going to be able to... Arya and Utapon, but four members of EDG in the area. JoJo turns up as well. So DFM just not going to be able to save it. And this is just EDG, like, I feel like they're just stealing this. Going to soften up the members of DFM as well as now EDG wanting to get the last few points, few points of health as that headbutt pulverize worked out. But Mako's just going to quickness his way out and the cow is going to fall. Grand entrance going to also knock them up. But Mako does fall down and Evie's going to be able to knock one away. But it's just not enough. A double kill now for JJ as DFM are just going to limp away. And I understand the desperation from DFM. I understand why Steel flashes forward there, because it feels like there's nothing to do. Yeah, I mean, the other thing too is you've got the Ring of Frost, but it doesn't even have to use stealing 80 carry uh, that a misfortune would be, is now I have to hold that thought as Ari is going to get taken down very low once again, goes back to his distortion, but Viper just puts a bullet in him as soon as he gets back there. And EDG going to take that kill and now look towards this bottom in a turret as well. Every time they get a kill, every time they take something, they're thinking about what more can they get. Yeah, already the waves are in a good position. Uh, I think top lane shoving uh, in as well. Someone's going to have to catch that eventually. Is they just bully him off the turret? Yeah, and Evie just—I don't know where that uh, ultimate was supposed to go, but a little bit of a waste of a helicopter there, unfortunately, and they lose. Right. The, I assume. And, and those this, don't carry over, EDG. Oh, <laughs> gang. Yeah, gang could be in trouble here. Is he's going to get? The ultimate off, headbutt to get Scout away, but there is still so much damage. The ult looked like it wasn't even there from the Alistair. And they are just going to take this dragon for free. And as I was trying to say earlier, DFM has had the best tournament that thus far. Will be deathless for four games. Showmaker's record was full, so let's see if he can keep it up. Well, we'll see. Teleport to come forward here as Gang in position. EDG not taking any risks whatsoever as Scout moves on forward. They do manage to lock down the Matador, but he does have the ultimate. His gang is getting taken down so low. Steel tries to keep himself alive, but they are just falling as EDG plow through DFM. It's clean so far, and it's only Aria that remains. EDG thinking about just moving forward and breaking the base. This is one of those fights where Jin is going to look at his weakest, right? Where he's trying to find that damage on the wrong side of the team fight. So it's not over yet. Yep, that's the flash on forward. Everyone seems to have a dash here as Viper's is going to cancel the ultimate. Doesn't even seem to matter as that's going to be the ace. And I think EDG are just going to waltz through the top side of the map and end this one. Yeah, when I said it's not over yet, I meant the carnage. The game was <laughs> over. <at> that <laughs> oh, what an incredible masterclass from EDG. From minute one, there was absolutely no way that DFM could get in. They'll take down the Nexus and win their first game of the day, their fourth of the tournament. And that's a sign of...